I'll never forget, this is years ago, um, but I was doing this gallbladder flush to flush out all my stones because um, I read something where you can drink olive oil, lemon juice, and take beet tablets to flush out hundreds of gallstones, right? And clean your body of these toxic stones. So I poured this, uh, it might've been, I don't know, 18 ounces, but it could have been 12 ounces, but I had this huge glass of olive oil, okay? And I put about two ounces of lemon juice in it. And then I had a handful of beet pills, okay? So I, I figured I'd just go ahead and do it all together. So I chugged down the beet pills, slugged down the olive oil slash lemon juice and laid on my right side. But before I could lay on my right side, these beet pills solidified in my throat and I couldn't breathe. So I almost died. I don't know if you've ever had the sensation where you ate something and it kind of got stuck in your throat and you couldn't breathe. That's what happened. So it, I panicked and I finally relaxed and I, I got it through. And then I laid on my right side for about a half hour. And what was supposed to happen was the gallbladder supposed to flush all these stones out. So to make a long story short, um, in the toilet, um, I noticed these round little green balls. And I'm like, wow, it worked. I flushed out all these stones. So at the time, I didn't know much about health. Okay, I, just, I was just doing all sorts of cleanses to try to help my body. But here's the thing you need to know. Stones don't float, okay? So, I mean, skull stones are, are rocks. They sink. And what I was really looking at was these little balls of bile salts, okay? So what this so-called cleanse did is flush out my bile, okay? So I, I got rid of all my bile. And by the way, as I'm about to teach you, when you lose your bile, you increase your risk for getting stones. So a gallbladder stone is created when you have a super concentrated amount of cholesterol with a low amount of bile. Normally, the bile is supposed to emulsify the cholesterol and keep things thinned so it doesn't form into a stone. It doesn't crystallize. But when you don't have enough bile salts because of a cleanse like this or other reasons, and then you develop stones. So this gallbladder slash gallstone flush actually increase my risk of getting stones. So let me just explain something. You have the liver, okay, uh, which makes bile. The bile is then released through these little tubes called ducts, okay? And then it, it starts to drain into this thing called the gallbladder. And the gallbladder is a sac that holds bile. It doesn't make bile, it holds the bile. And so the bile can be concentrated. So the next time you eat, it can be contracted and that bile can be released into the small intestine. So it can start to help to break down fats uh, with the help of the pancreas that then comes in with certain enzymes like lipase to break it down to a even smaller level so it can be absorbed. So you need everything functioning in the liver and gallbladder and the pancreas to make everything work right. And so there is also a hormone that causes this contraction of the gallbladder. And so what triggers the hormone that contracts the gallbladder are fats, okay, fatty acids, protein, and hydrochloric acid from your stomach because you just ate. So every time you eat, you actually have this release of this bile that's gonna help you start extracting uh, fat-soluble vitamins, omega-3 fatty acids, and other fatty acids. Now, if you have not noticed, carbohydrates um, do not help you release bile. They're not a trigger for the contraction of the gallbladder. So what does it mean? It means basically if you're doing like a lot of carbs, you're not getting the help of the gallbladder too much. It's more the fat, the protein, and also hydrochloric acid. Now, a really common confusion about gallstones is that um, people think that eating a high fat diet will cause gallstones. Well, it all depends on what's happening with your bile. If you're producing enough bile with the fat, you're fine. But fat in itself causes a release of bile, not the formation of a stone. And let me just tell you again, a stone is formed when you have too much concentrated cholesterol and not enough bile salts. One of the top remedies for gallstones is taking purified bile salts. So instead of asking the question, what causes a gallstone? A better question would be, what decreases our bile production and release? And so I'm gonna go down the list, okay? Number one, estrogen. Estrogen can inhibit bile from being 
produced and released. This is why women who are pregnant, who have a lot of estrogen, are at risk for getting gallstones. This is why women who take birth control pills or start taking hormone replacement therapy, specifically estrogen replacement therapy, are at risk for gallstones. This is why women who are estrogen dominant tend to get more gallstones than if they're not estrogen dominant. Now, the next thing that can cause a decreased bile production is very interesting. It's a, actually being on a low fat diet. So if you're a vegan and you don't consume much fat or you're just on a low fat diet, your risk for gallstones are going up because it's the fatty acids that help you produce and release bile. So the myth of eating too much fat will cause gallstones is just a myth. All right, the next thing that will affect your bile production is uh, having too much cortisol from stress or prednisone, okay? A lot of people with inflammatory conditions are taking prednisone, a synthetic version of cortisol, and that can increase the risk of gallstones. All right, number four, and this is very important, too much insulin or insulin resistance or a fatty liver, which usually comes from that, and if you have a fatty liver, you can't produce as much bile because there's not as much liver to produce the bile. But insulin in general and insulin resistance, which usually happen at the same time, is a very common cause of lowered bile production. This is why a diabetic has an increased risk of getting gallstones. This is why people that are overweight are more at a risk for a gallstone. And this is why people who eat too many carbs are at risk for getting a gallstone. All right, next thing on the list is a loss of bile. Let's say you have chronic diarrhea. That is gonna cause a loss of bile. Or you had gastric bypass, which you're gonna be at risk for getting gallstones because you're doing a bypass of your intestine slash stomach, and that's going to decrease bile. And this last one is actually fascinating. Bile is made from cholesterol. So anything that lowers cholesterol, like statins, will put you at risk for having lowered bile and increasing the risk of gallstones. So I hope this increased your awareness of gallstones in general and what you should and should not do. But I just want to mention olive oil is extremely healthy to consume, but probably not in large quantities, like drinking like 12 ounces, not the best idea. Now, lemon juice and apple cider vinegar are really good for not only uh, breaking down stones and producing more bile, um, but gallstones as well as kidney stones. And I think the best video for you to watch right now is my video on bile salts. It's actually quite interesting. Check it out. I put it right here.